Welcome to How to Solve Channel. Here I gonna show you how to take buck up, manage and restore using Finder on Mako's Catalina or later. First connect your iPhone, iPad to Mac using cable and unlock device with passcode defast to successfully pair with Mac Finder. Once it paired you can click on device name on Finder sidebar to new device summary page. That's showing all options like backup. Before restore start we must take whole latest backup. One more thing is we can check all old backup under manage backups options. Here's under backup. If you wish delete then select backup and click on delete backup button. To take latest and new click on backup now option. Make sure backup all data to this Mac options should be selected. Wait for long it will take time if you are doing first time. Once backup process is completed we must check backup is saved with today's date and time. Here go to manage backup and I have one latest backup on my Mac that I will use after install iOS IPSW file. When we select this backup in list, delete backup option will enabled. Here's we can delete is and save GBs of storage from Mac. In last video you can find ways to delete all backup saved on Mac. To restore iOS and iPados we must turn off find my device under the settings app. Here Finder says to turn off Find My iPad and try to restore device again. So move to your device and go to the Settings app, next tap on Profile Name and scroll to iCloud. Again scroll to Find My iPhone, iPad and disable toggle. Enter Apple ID password to verify and that's it. Once you turn off Find My iPhone, iPad and iCloud. Next step is restore IPSW file that downloaded for your iPhone, iPad. Here you can download earlier iOS device to downgrade or install same version of IPS file to fix the software issues. Let's start I have downloaded iPados 13 IPS file for iPados. On Finder press option keyboard key plus click on restore iPhone, iPad button to browse downloaded IPS file from Mac. And once you select file click on open to start restoring process. After that don't remove iPhone or iPad from Mac and wait until you see startup screen on iPhone. In the whole process might be your iPhone will reboot several times. But don't interrupt it until you see welcome screen. Next step is wait for until you see set up new iPad screen. If your iPhone or iPad is connected to Finder, then Finder will ask to set up like a new iPhone or iPad and second option is restore old backup. Here I am selecting second option to copy all media files and other data to iPad, as well as select backup from drop down option. Now click on continue to restore old backup.